The world's primitive were vanishing, every book wailed. So what could be more exciting for a painter than to make a record of some of these people before they vanished forever? The idea of two white women traveling by themselves without police protection was, I think, shocking. We were an expedition to paint the portraits of a race of primitives living in the Southwest Pacific. There was a woman here back in 1927. Do you think that this might be your father? Capturing people in an honest way, in a way that they are being who they are in the moment, allows for you to capture a particular era. And it also speaks to, I think, the level of commitment on Carolyn's part to try to work past some of the stereotypes. We've been searching for how long now? While rummaging around the lagoon, we came across one of these skull cemeteries. You have to kill 30 heads before you get the title warrior. That culture is already gone. Far from being ruthless headhunters that they've been betrayed by Europeans, these are people who actually are inquisitive where innovation is tradition. The natives in their villages died by the hundreds. The weather just gone sour on us. Um, I don't know what to do. This is heritage. It's very important. My father died when I was seven years old, so I could have got lots of information from him, but I didn't have the chance. A culture is always fleeting. It's always running away from you, escaping you. Our disbelieving friend said, no female outfit such as ours could ever go alone to paid headhunters and come back with their own heads. No man had done it. No man had yet tried, we replied.